Hey stampers, welcome to another Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Joe creative team, and I am so excited to show you this awesome product today. If you've ever come across our channel or anybody else's really fun projects and felt a little bit overwhelmed, I wanted to show you a project that is going to be right up your alley. So a couple of years ago, Stampin' Up! came out with a pamphlet that features some of our basic products that you can get started with. And one that they have in this year's pamphlet is the Simply Citrus Card Kit. It is an all-inclusive card kit. It has everything in it you need to make 15 cards and the envelopes are included, but it also has a clear block and a little stampin' spot. So it's like a little stamp pad, just small and a stamp set. So everything you need is right, comes right in this box for only $32. It's a really great value. So I wanted to show you start to finish what getting a box like this would look like. You can order this from us and it will come in a box just like this. Um, I would suggest having a pair of scissors to work with and you'll also want some Stampin' Seal. There is adhesive available that comes with this, but I feel like having your own Stampin' Seal is helpful. It's not necessary, but it's helpful. So you'll just undo this cute box. See all the little citrusy things on there? So cute. You open it up, and inside here's the stamp set. So cute. It says, thanks for being you. Just a note. Hello, sunshine. Way to go. And these are photopolymer stamps, so you can see through them. It makes stamping really, really simple. It also comes with a Knight of Navy stamp in spot. This is the one I was telling you is just a little stamp pad. So you can just open it like this and there it is just like that. I'll show you how to use that and then you pull out this package here and here's what it looks like. Gives you a little sample of what the cards look like. There are five cards, three of each of these designs. So 15 cards total with these super super cute envelopes as well. So we'll open up this with our scissors. Everything's all nice and packaged in here together. Here is your little um, clear block that you can stamp with. Each one of these stamps will fit on this clear block and you get to keep this. So if you have other stamp sets, it's almost the size of one of our D blocks. It's comparable, so you kind of know which size it's gonna be. You get a big sheet of dimensionals. Some really cute baker's twine and little embellishments. Here are all of the envelopes. So cute. Little citrus themed. I love the colors of this kit. These are the adhesive that you can use. They're like little glue dots. So you just would take off one side of the clear and put it on and then peel it off and it will stick on just like an adhesive. Those are fine. They will hold your projects. I just really like the stamp and seal so much better. And then you'll have your card bases. That's what these are. So we'll have three of each. That cute design. And this one. The colors in this kit are just fabulous. This one. And the bright, bright yellow. And then these other papers here, you punch out. So they're pre-cut, printed pre-printed and pre-cut. You just punch them right out and you can assemble your cards. So you've got a few different designs that go with this, with these particular cards. You can kind of see they're pre-printed. They just pop right out. Really, really simple. And then these are the ones we're going to be stamping our sentiments on. And they just pop out as well, just like that. So we have all of our product. We'll take this little sheet that comes with it. And on the inside, they give us in many languages, like tips. It tells what's included. It gives you the steps of things to do. And also, if you have other Stampin' Up! product and you want to coordinate with any of these, it tells you the coordinating colors right here. So in this kit, it's Calypso Coral, Garden Green, Just Jade, Mango Melody, Night of Navy, and White, which is kind of cool. And then it gives you a color copy here at each of the cards. And it gives you little tips on how to do the things, like how much to cut your baker's twine, how long to cut it to, and how to assemble even, and if they use dimensionals or if they use those little glue dots. So there's all of your cards. 
So I wanted to choose one card from this kit to stamp for you, just so you could see how simple the process is from start to finish. I really, really love this Hello Sunshine card. So I'm gonna pull all of the product that I need for that card. I need one of these for my sentiment. I need one of these for the card base. I love this, look how cute. Look how cute. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp on there. And then I'm gonna need some little embellishments too. Oh, and I need a Knight of Navy one here. One of these little guys. Punch that out. So this layer, and then this, and then that. Cute, and then these. And it says I need 16 inches of twine. Pull out my baker's twine here. And it looks like I need three of these little flowery embellishments, which are super cute. I don't know if you can see those very well. They're almost like a plastic. I thought they would be vellum, but they're kind of like a hard plastic. Really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna cut 16 inches of baker's twine so that I can do just as it says here. Okay, I'm gonna take my block. I'm gonna use a piercing mat because when you're working with photopolymer stamps, it's really helpful to have a little bit of padding underneath so that you can get a really crisp image when you stamp. So I'm gonna take my little lemon image here first because I'm gonna stamp these cute lemons with the Night of Navy. So for these, I'm gonna take my stamp in spot, and since it's so small, I'm gonna turn my stamp upside down and ink it this way. That way I'm gonna be able to see that the entire thing is inked and not get ink all over the place. And then I'm gonna be able to line it up really easily because it's photopolymer. And stamp that. Cute. Look at that, oh my gosh, I almost got it like perfect. Since I said that now, I'm not gonna get any other ones perfect. Stamp that. But it's okay if it's not perfect because it just looks cute however you decide to do it. Turn it. See, that one's a little bit off, but I think it's still cute, so I'm leaving it. And stamp that. I also wanna give a little bit of definition to these leaves. So I'm going to take off my lemon stamp and I'm gonna grab this little leaf one. Put that on my block and same thing. I'm gonna ink up those little leaves, line them up and stamp them down. Gosh, that's, I can't believe I get those right on. That makes it really easy. Just like that. It just gives so much definition. Look how cute that is. I'm kinda digging it. Okay. See, that one's a little off, but it's not bad. It's actually really cute. And I'm kind of like a perfectionist stamper, so I'm kind of digging it. Okay, and then just this little one on the edge. There we go. So there's one part of our little card done. I just need to stamp the sentiment now. I'll clean this off. And we'll switch it out. We're gonna stamp Hello Sunshine. Okay, I'm just gonna, same thing, turn it around and ink it up so I can see that I've got the whole image nice and inky. And then I've got this little cute pre-cut paper that I'm gonna stamp it in. And it fits just perfectly on it, just like that. So cute. Okay, so my stamping's done. Now I just have to assemble. Okay, so we're gonna start with this little piece that I just stamped. First thing you're gonna do is tie your ribbon around it, your little baker's twine. And this baker's twine is so, so cute. And it looks like we're tying it just in a simple bow. But the thing that's so great about these kits, if you didn't want to do it that way, you could change it. Using this Baker's twine in any way on these cards is gonna be really cute because the colors all work really well together. So if you're not great at tying bows, which I'm not always great at tying bows, you could always do a knot or you could 
figure something else out that you're great at. All right, so I've got my bow tied like that. I'm gonna put on some dimensionals on this cute back piece here. They give you a full sheet of dimensionals, so I'd say use them because dimension makes your cards super cute. So I'm gonna peel those off and then we're going to put it on the card just like this. Cute. Next, we're gonna add our Knight of Navy little paper layer. You could use these dots, glue dots for that. I'm gonna to choose to use my Stampin' Seal. If you haven't invested in Stampin' Seal yet, you should. It is awesome. I've really been enjoying it. I'm gonna put this on just like so. Oh, these colors are so beautiful. Loving them. Okay, that one's just flush with the paper. What you could do, and what I like to do, when a paper goes off of something that's up, I like to stick a little dimensional underneath just so that it all flows really well together and that, that doesn't get mushed. So I'm gonna add a little dimensional under there. And then I'm gonna take my sentiment and add it right here. How cute is that? I might move this down just a little, just a hair, so we can see it a little bit better. So cute, and to me, it looks like there's dimensionals on that as well. If you wanted to mail these cards, you can always make them without dimensionals. Um, assemble them without them and then they're a lot easier to mail but if you're giving them dimensionals are always the way to go I think so we'll add our cute little sentiment there and then we just need to add our little flower embellishments I am gonna use these little dots for that because they make it so easy so you just peel one up it's got the little wax paper on the back kind of like the dimensionals do you just peel off the wax paper and you stick it down Look how cute. So, so cute. And so simple, you guys. Look how quick I just made that really, really cute card. Sometimes when you're starting out or if you're giving a gift or you wanna do something with your little ones in your life, doing something simple and easy like this makes people feel just like a million bucks. You can create something beautiful very quickly. It just feels good. You can give something that you made. Who doesn't love that? Okay, and then you fold your pre-scored card base. You grab one of these cute envelopes and you've got a little card to give. Isn't that fun? Love it. I'm so impressed with this card kit. So just as a refresher, this is the Simply Citrus card kit. It's an all-inclusive card kit. It's included in our annual catalog this year, but it's also shown in our simplified pamphlet. Um, if you don't know where to start, or you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with Stampin' Up, this is a great place to start to get your creative juices flowing. So I hope you've loved this kit as much as I have. I can't wait to finish putting it all together and see the outcome. If you have any questions, please let us know, or if you'd like to order this kit, you can find the link below to do that or visit us at stampingjill.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.